Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here to sip in the review for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 423 and it's over. The series is essentially over. Obviously we have that, like, you know, you have those one or two final chapters where, you know, things are wrapped up, but it's over. There'll be no more action. Well, there'll be no more action within the series, like, you no. Know, or for the big bad of the series, you know, he's been defeated and it's over. And it was very anticlimactic. And I think I'd go as far as to say is that this was the worst final battle in any series I've ever watched, in all honesty. Um, a few surprises, but again, these are mess surprises. Uh, obviously, for a while, I thought Deku, you know, was going to save Shigaraki. And I thought it would have been in the sense where, at the end of the series, he would have still been alive, you know, lifetime sentence to jail, that kind of thing. But even he is no longer out when the series is over. We have that moment where within the inner mind space where, you know, Deku is talking to him and we know that, that call cool, he was quote-unquote saved, but dead. Nonetheless, and really, that's not that's everything I got to say about this series. There was that moment when we have Kurogiri, you know, hopping there last minute, try to save um his master, and then Bakugo out of nowhere comes in there, and I'm not sure what he does. I'm, I'm I'm guessing I'm assuming that he got rid of Kurogiri, but you know that just that just seemed random to me. Just, just random, just, yeah, just random, just, was it needed? I don't know. We also kind of have that moment where there was kind of like, um, I'm not even sure really, I'm not even sure what they're trying to go for there, that I'm talking about the bit where we have, um, or for one talking to his brother, like within the in the mind space kind of thing. I'm not sure what they're trying to go for there as well. And you know, that was in there as well. I felt kind of random and I didn't really get it kind of thing. So for me personally that wasn't needed either. So yeah, but that's everything I gotta say about this chapter really and truly. Like I said, I think like one or two uh, I'd say max three this chapter this series could be uh, wrapped up unless they want to throw um, Kaguya into the mix. <laughs> throw Kaguya into the mix and there's actually another villain in play, but I don't see how that would work with Deku essentially now because I think that loss of Deku did two things, you know, used up his lost embers and therefore, you know, he's quirkless again. So, it seems like Deku does survive the series. I was wrong. I was wrong. My video was wrong. Well, let's just say I was wrong about Deku because I did, I did, all honesty, have more of most of my money in the pool of that he would be dead by the end of the series. But I might be right about the others. I could still be right about the others. Check out the video in the end cards if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I've got to say about this chapter. Unfortunately, fortunately, whichever you want to throw it, that is a two star rating. And I could go to Moscow for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. And most important, take care. Have a nice day.